Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Orient Outreach. I'm here with Jamie Eyre from Love Inc. Thank you for joining us, Jamie. Thank you for having me. So, would you mind telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure, I am um, a Lake Orion resident forever. I grew up here, went to high school here. I have two kids, um, one just graduated last year and I have a son going into 11th grade. Um, I have been very involved in the band, in my kids' activities, and I have, um, we recently, we, we've lived here for, for most of our time together, my husband and I, but um, we left for a little bit and came right back because it's such a great community and we'll be here for, we're here for the long haul. I've lived here my whole life as well, <laughs> so I can see the appeal. <laughs> yes, it's a great community. It absolutely is. So you said you were involved with um, the band mm -hmm. and other activities your kids were involved with at Lake Orion High School. Was that like parent volunteering, nonprofit sort of things? Um, I was a part of the band Boosters, and I served on the board. Um, I did fundraising for the band. Um, and then also for the winter programs as, as well. So those, um, the, the booster stuff mm -hmm. tends to be more nonprofit, raising money. Yep. Um, is that kind of what Love Inc. does? Is that why you were kind of drawn to that business? Yeah, so at Love Inc., I'm the donor development coordinator. So I help with the fundraising and I also help establish the donors and the donations. And so my experience with the band also helped, you know, get me used to being out in the community. Now Love Inc. is a little bit of a different nonprofit because we um, help underprivileged individuals in our local communities in North Oakland County. So it's a little bit of a different nonprofit um, because we're raising money that specifically goes to help those individuals. That's one of the things we really need right now. Mm -hmm. So thank you for being there and helping everyone out during this really difficult time. It's our pleasure, yep. So what was one of the main reasons you applied for this role at Love Inc? Was there something specific about it that just really drew you in? Or was it just kind of a, oh, like I think I'd like that. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it situation. I really do enjoy fundraising. Um, so it's just one of those passionate things that because I love it so much, it, um, it comes kind of easy for me. And so when I saw the opportunity, which was presented by a good friend of mine, I thought, well, that's perfect for me. So I was able to, you know, kind of do a little bit of background research on Love Inc. and the, the great things that they do for our local community. It just drew me to that position. So could you go a little bit more in depth about what Love Inc. does? Sure. So we are a clearinghouse. And what happens is we partner with um, local churches. We have um, church partners. And what happens is people who have a need, so it could be rent or food or clothing, um, they call the clearinghouse and then they go through a process where they have to um, complete an intake with one of our intake workers. And then we establish what their need is. And so depending on what type of need they have, we recommend them to local agencies that can help them, or we can also help them ourselves. Um, also, we have community meals, which our partner churches have in, within their churches. Um, they're on a little bit of a break right now through the summer, but um, it's definitely kicking back up in the fall. Monday through Thursday, we have meals for people to go for free. We work with fish. We have a lot of community partners that we partner with to help make sure that whatever people need in the community, we can get them. That's wonderful. Sticking with the community for things like this is so important. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really helpful during this difficult time. Yes. So thank you for sticking with it and helping everyone right now. It's it's really important. So yeah, we're very happy you. to be here. So is Love Inc. doing anything right now? So right now we are collecting donations of um, personal care items and household items that our clients um, may need. 
what happens is sometimes we have people who call in and their money is tight and so instead of them spending money on shampoo or toilet paper or something like that we can help them by giving those them those items so that they can use their money for their utilities or, or to their rent so right now through the month of july we have the stronger together campaign <clears throat> and each week in july we're collecting different items so for instance we're right now we're in week one so we're doing shampoo and conditioner and body wash and then next week we're collecting razors shaving cream things that you know can be a little bit costly as they you know as you're shopping and then um that continues through the whole entire month of july and that will also help us um, if there's a, an immediate need for those items our clients will get those and they can get those through our um, we have a ministry called Little Luxuries where they can get those items so they come in and they can shop. Um, and then we also will have, we're working on our transformational ministries which will have like incentive bags that they can get those much needed items each week that they attend our classes. That's great. So you've said that there's different items you're collecting each week. Mm -hmm. What happens if someone's not able to donate a specific item one week but they're able to turn it in a week or two later, will those items still be collected? Absolutely, yep. Any any item on the list, it doesn't have to be that week specific. Um, they can drop it off anytime. So if there's a donation, where can we drop it off? Is there specific locations or just one? Do they have to drop it off to Loving specifically? We have a donation box at the Orient Center and it's right inside the front door so you don't have to go in and you can just place it in the box and it'll be there through the entire month. So if someone's able to, if someone's not able to donate here at the Orient Center, how can people still participate? Can they drop it off at Loving or is there something else they can do? Yeah, these items can also be dropped off at our Little Luxuries um, Ministry, which is located behind Lake Point Church. And we collect donations of household goods as well as the personal care um, items every Tuesday from 9 to 12. That's fantastic. So once this donation uh, this summer is over, um, do you have anything else coming up so that we can participate and help keep everything running? Yeah, we have our biggest, don our biggest fundraiser is in October and it's called Double Your Dollars. Um, and so that in during the month of October we collect donations and we have um, we have individuals and businesses that give us money that they're willing to match if we get those donations collected so what we do is um, people can donate on our website they can also text to donate we do um, it's love Inc texting to love Inc of NOC to four one four 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 and um, so every dollar that we collect is matched by these individuals or these local businesses. And that is that is our biggest fundraiser of the year, especially with COVID, we haven't been able to do our normal um, events. So this is, a, this is an important one. Right, especially, you said you weren't able to do it, so it has to be more important now than ever. Right, yeah. Well, thank you so much for telling us about everything that's going on. And I really hope that we're able to help fill those shelves again after everything that's been happening. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. That's it for this edition of Orient Outreach. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.